Major, it's time for round three. Yes, but it's also a prequel, so don't get confused. Wait, a prequel? So this happens even before Metal Gear Solid 1? Snake, this happens before the original MSX titles you didn't even play. I still got the gist. I watched a playthrough online. What kind of loser just watches a video game online instead of actually playing it for themselves? Raiden is indeed gone, but instead of playing as Solid Snake, we're now transported to the past to play as his upcoming villainous father, Big Boss. You're codenamed Naked Snake in a game called Snake Eater. I find the repetitive phallic coincidences to be highly suspect, and they don't stop here. The internet recommended we play this snaky adventure on hard mode, considering how it's a little easier than the rest, so keep that in mind. There's no better naked snake than a hard naked snake. There's several versions of this release, but we played the PS3's HD remaster, as this does update a few gameplay quirks as well as the resolution. Forget the awkward fixed cameras of the past and say hello to a much freer camera system. Now when you get spotted, it's your own dumb fault. There are a ton of quality of life and gameplay improvements when compared to MGS2, but they also added some new weird mechanics. You're now sneaking through a dense Russian jungle with plenty of new ways to take down enemies and avoid notice, like wearing various camouflage. But you can also get injured, which is super creative at first, but after a while it just becomes a tedious way to heal inside of the menus, using about four items each to cure each injury as it occurs. But nitpicks aside, compared to the first two installments, MGS3 is easily the most fun to play of the bunch. The bosses in particular were a lot of fun to fight, each with interesting hidden mechanics where the player needs to find ways to outsmart them all in order to win. Remember as always, this is a stealth mission, and though you are one tough soldier, you are certainly not equipped or encouraged to take out everybody in your way. Actually, of all the games, I'd say this one makes it the easiest to just gun down everyone in your path considering how overpowered and absurdly tanky Snake is this time around. But even if you decide to go in guns blazing, the game will creatively punish you for it later with one of the coolest boss fights I have ever seen. There's also some rail shooter segments where you are absolutely encouraged to mow down everyone in your path. This is big boss after all. Since you're going into this mission solo and unequipped, you'll have to find your own food on the fly, usually consisting of the local hunted wildlife like fish and snakes. This aspect, combined with nursing your own wounds back to health, makes this game feel substantially more real than its predecessors, and I love that about it. Though it can get a little too intrusive and arduous in menus at times. An after effect of playing this game is figuring out how to satisfy your new unquenchable urge to figure out what every animal you see tastes like. Graphically, we are still on the same system as MGS2, which had its fair share of bland color palettes and awkward 3D models, but honestly, MGS3 just looks better in both regards, however incrementally. To be fair, this time you're mostly outdoors, so of course it's gonna look brown. But this time there's at least various color palettes, outdoors and indoors, that you'll be paying close attention to in order to best optimize a matching camo. Characters and background assets look really nice, and if we're comparing it to MGS2, I'd say a little bit nicer as well. You'll need to pay close attention to moving grass and rustling sounds in order to find and catch the local wildlife on the go. And the way they're all animated make them all feel real enough without them being too easy to catch or too obscure to even see. This game is all about survival, so these elements really matter in terms of making it past the next group of guards or into the next facility. It's not just all brown, it's justifiably brown. Oh, come on! We're gonna avoid spoiling too much of the game so that you actually play it. Or just join us in our own Let's Play series, shameless plug. After a short MGS2 tanker-sized mission, Snake gets ambushed by his own superior, aptly named The Boss, where she defects to the Soviet Union under some suspicious circumstances. The boss's defection results in a nuclear explosion detonating in Soviet territory, causing a massive national crisis incident, resulting in America being required to prove their own innocence in the explosion. But the only way to do that and appease Russia's demands is to prove your loyalty to your country and eliminate the boss. 
and the only soldier capable of sneaking deep into enemy territory and taking her down is you. The boss also commands the Cobra Unit, a series of bosses you'll be encountering on your journey. They're not all as fleshed out as the MGS1 bosses, but they're still very interesting and super creative to fight. Without spoiling anything more, we all know going in, as this is a prequel, that at one point, Snake needs to kill the boss and take up her mantle and carry on as Big Boss. What this story does so well is it makes you really feel for everyone, as all the characters and situations have memorable and emotional moments that tie into the greater story. What it does poorly is providing the player with some insanely long cutscenes before throwing them into scripted action sequences that they can't properly take breaks from. If you set the time aside for it, this game's story will blow you away, especially the incredibly emotional ending. I have never cried while playing a video game before, but MGS3 had me as close as I have ever come. It's truly tragic and magnificent. The Codec is also back with tons of extra story embellishment and interesting conversations for those itching for more story. And as I said in my MGS1 review, this is storytelling at its finest. Even if you hate stealth games or shooters, the story alone is so good in Metal Gear Solid that you just simply have to play the series. And it might have just hit a new high in Metal Gear Solid 3. The music in 1 was amazing! But 2 was a little bland during its gameplay, and 3 was composed by the same team as 2, but managed to turn it all around with a great soundtrack. And that outstanding James Bond-themed intro song is too amazing not to mention. It's a bummer Konami is such a stickler for YouTube copyright claims. Get this, they claimed all monetary rights to our MGS2 review because of some of the music being used. Which, by the way, was totally within our rights when used for review purposes, but according to Konami, this isn't even a review. Even though I quite literally segment the game into features and rate it at the end. Maybe their absurd money-grubbing and self-righteous perspective is why they only remade MGS3 for a pachinko machine! If you've played Metal Gear Solid 1 and 2, then you absolutely must follow them up with this masterpiece. Do you drool over local wildlife wondering what they all must taste like? Don't let the fact that MGS3 is a prequel turn you off, and I'd still recommend you play this series in release order instead of the order of canon. Konami, if you're watching this, I just want to remind you that this is a review video, and you make video games. They're too far gone, man, just let it go! I know. The positive gamer in me was thrilled to bits with Metal Gear Solid 3, giving it a perfect 10 out of 10. The story, gameplay, presentation, and even the sound design are all on par with the tremendous achievements of the original PS1 title. I often debate which one I honestly think is better. And for that question to even arise, it would be wrong to rate this game with anything less than a 10. The critical gamer in me was truly surprised with Metal Gear Solid 3 for surpassing 2 and nearly eclipsing 1 in my head, giving it a well-deserved 9 out of 10. Though it's absolutely outstanding, there are some segments that bothered me and mechanics that overstayed their welcome a bit. But in the end, I still adored the ride and highly recommend it alongside the others. But what do you think? Tell us how your positive and critical sides rate MGS3 in the comments below. But if you don't think this is a review, dude, then you're just playing with yourself. <laughs> Konami. Do you have an idea for a new episode of Playing With Myself? Join the discussion in Discord using the new Patreon perks to nominate and vote for future episodes. Patreon members also get first picks, so check out the links in the description for more information. And as always, thanks to our amazing Patreon members, Kai, Ben, Rowan, Erica, SquadFam, Sid, and Denny. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like the videos and subscribe for more. And we will see you all in the next video. Boop. There's no better naked snake than a hard naked snake.